Before we begin, click subscribe to stay up to date with all of our newest video content. Acumatica makes it easy to reverse an invoice that may have been entered incorrectly. Maybe it was entered in the wrong period or in the wrong company. Regardless of the cause, we can make quick work of fixing the problem using tools provided by Acumatica. We're going to start by looking at this invoice that has been open, but we identified a problem and we need to reverse. So, under Actions, we click Reverse. It creates a credit memo. It's balanced for the correct dollar amount, for the correct customer, for the correct period, and all we need to do is release it. It looks like everything worked like the way we wanted, but let's look a little further. This credit memo hasn't been applied to anything and is in an open status. If we look at the original invoice, it's also in an open status and it has no applications. So not everything is the way we need it to be and we'll look at how to fix this a little bit later. One thing to note on our original invoice, if we try and create a new reversal, the system recognizes that we have created a reversal on this invoice already and gives us a warning. We can create a second memo if we want to, but, but we probably don't. I've created a copy of the original invoice. And this time, instead of reversing it, we want to use the action Reverse and Apply to Memo, which does almost exactly the same thing, except notice that the tab for Applications has been filled in with the invoice that we were looking at before we created the Reverse with Application. When we release this credit memo, the credit memo becomes closed, and the related invoice is closed. Both show the application of the other. So we're back to the original invoice. It's still in open status. The associated credit memo is in an open status, and we need to link these two together and get them closed. So what are our options? Well, we've already seen reverse and reversal apply memo, but that's just going to create new credit memos. The other option here that looks like maybe it will work is enter payment apply memo. But when we do that, it goes straight to the payment to create a new payment. So that's not quite what we're looking for either. So let's look at starting with the credit memo. Here we have similar actions, but here if we apply the memo, since we're already working with a memo, it assumes we want to apply this memo. And then in our uh, Documents to Apply tab, we can add invoices, and it will default in the amount up to the, the amount available from the credit memo to be applied to the invoice. Another option here, instead of looking up the invoice, is to click the Load Documents. Now, this isn't the right invoice, so you have to be careful there, because in this case we're looking at a different branch. We're working in the Capital Branch, and it's wanting to offset this credit memo to a, to a Wholesale Products invoice, so that's not the right invoice. Um, often, for many environments, load documents would work just fine, but you need, do need to be careful, especially when you're working in multi-company environments. So here we'll pick our capital invoice for that amount, and when we release this credit memo now, we're applying it to the invoice. We go back and look at the invoice, and we'll see that both are closed. In recap, when an invoice is reversed, there's an invoice and a credit memo with no visible links between them. And once the credit memo is released, both are in open status and no documents are applied to either. There is, however, a warning if a second reversal is attempted from the invoice. In the second case, when an invoice had the reversed with application taken, there are an invoice and a credit memo, and the credit memo it shows that it is applied to the invoice before it is released. Once released, both documents are closed, 
and both documents show application to each other. And lastly, if we have an unapplied credit memo and we want to apply it to an open invoice, we have two different ways to get there. First, if we find the memo in the invoice as a memo screen, we can use the enter payment and apply memo action, which takes us to the same place as if we start in the payment and application screen, look up the memo, and then once we're there in the payment and application screen with the credit memo, we can add the invoice in the documents to apply tab. Once we release the credit memo, both documents are in a closed status and both documents show that they are applied to each other. That's it. Reversing invoices and applying credit memos in Acumatic are easy. Was this video helpful? Click subscribe to see more videos like this one.